iPhone 10 screen replacement guide. The tools we're going to need are a proprietary pentalope screwdriver that has five rigid teeth, a standard Phillips head screwdriver, a double zero Phillips head screwdriver, a Y tip double zero also referred to as a tri-wing screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, a plastic prying tool referred to as a spudger, a suction cup for pulling the screen apart, a triangular pick tool also for separating the screen, and then a metallic prying tool for separating the screen from the phone casing. Finally, we'll need a heat gun or a hair dryer. Make sure that the phone is completely powered down before we begin. Go ahead and flip the phone over and near the charging port, locate the two pentalobe screws. Go ahead and remove the two pentalobe screws with the pentalobe screwdriver. With the pentalobe screws removed, go ahead and start using the uh, hair dryer or a heat gun to go around the contour of the iPhone and warm up the uh, waterproof adhesive. Do this for about two to three minutes at a distance. Once heat has been applied, go ahead and place the suction cup as close as you can to the charging port. Tug on it with your middle finger while pitching the sides of the phone with your index and your thumb and insert the metallic prying tool right underneath where the home button location is. Then go ahead and insert a plastic pick into the seam and start sliding it down to create a seam separation. Start sliding it down to the right side going around the contour of the phone. You want to use the plastic tool for this not to scratch up the phone screen. Go along the right side as far down as you can then come back and go along the left side you want to take your time and uh, make this separation carefully you don't want to scratch or break anything you should go about the same speed as you hear, see here on video or slower Once you've loosened up the bottom and both sides, go ahead and slide the pick through the top, completing the uh, phone adhesion separation. Now you can go ahead and fold the phone out like a book. There are two cable attachments, one in the top and one in the middle, so be careful not to tear those. We'll need to remove the cover that's securing all the connections to the screen. Go ahead and remove the six tri-wing screws that are securing the cover. Make sure to place them in an orientation in which you'll remember where they go back as they are all different sizes. Go ahead and lift the cover and put it over to the side. We'll need to disconnect the three cables that are securing the screen to the phone, starting with the ear speaker. With a plastic prying tool, go ahead and pry underneath the corner of the speaker and just gently push it up and it should come right out. Now for the screen and the digitizer, as you see here. Once separated, you might have to clean up some of the waterproof adhesive around the contour of the edge of the phone. Just peel the adhesive away that has come apart. Here's what the screen looks like. We'll need to transfer over the earpiece uh, speaker. The earpiece speaker is secured with three tri-wing screws. Go ahead and remove the three tri-wing screws. The screw in the middle has a little uh, metallic pin. Just put that over to the side and make a note of it. With the three screws removed, you can tip the speaker 
over it like you see here. Now go ahead and turn the screen over to better access uh, the remainder portions that are glued in to the screen. With a plastic prying tool, pry underneath the ambient sensor first. You can see right here, we just get right underneath it and pry it up and unglue it. Uh, it should come out relatively easy. Make sure to be, care be careful and take your time. Don't make any fast movements. Just gently pry it right out. The ambient sensor is loose. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the next uh, portion. Flip the phone over to get a better angle. We'll be disconnecting the uh, microphone next. It's located right here you just want to gently pull up on it and push it over to the side so now that we have the ambient sensor and the microphone disconnected we have one more sensor to disconnect uh, this one here um, and that will loosen up the entire uh, ear speaker assembly by gently prying it uh, from the top with a plastic prying tool we can just um, remove that separate that ad adhesion and that will loosen up the entire earpiece speaker component here's what it looks like up close reassembly begin the reassembly by following the steps in the reverse order we want to reconnect the sensor on the right side first just align it with a socket and gently press it into its socket. Now go ahead and tuck in the sensor on the left side and then tuck the microphone in. Once the right sensor, the left sensor and the microphone are tucked in, you can go ahead and flip the speaker back over on top and start securing the three wide tip screws. First place that little um, metal piece that we made a note of earlier and secure the white tip screw over the top of it. Then secure the white tip screw on the right side of the speaker. And then the white tip screw on the left side of the speaker. It's time to reattach the screen to the phone. Go ahead and align it in the following orientation. Reconnect the screen display cable and the uh, digitizer cables first uh, on the in the middle. Go ahead and align it with the socket and gently press it in. Make sure it's correctly aligned before you apply pressure as you can damage the socket. Do the same for the digitizer. You can use a plastic prying tool to help you uh, apply the pressure. Once you feel like you have a nice and solid connection, go ahead and reconnect the earpiece speaker up on the top. Um, portion of the connection bridge. Once again, aligning the socket and applying pressure. Then place the cover back over the connection bridge. Align it in the following orientation. Now secure it with the six uh, tri wing tip screws. Once all the connections are secured by the cover, we want to power on and test the phone before we close it up. So go ahead and power it on. Uh, once everything is tested and it works, power it back off. 
and then we're going to clamp it up. Close it carefully aligning uh, the seam around all the four edges and just start applying minor pressure in the top left corner and start going along the contour of the uh, foam. It should click right in. You shouldn't feel any uh, real resistance. It should just close and clamp up just like you see here. Now make sure to keep going around the outer edges make sure that everything is tight there shouldn't be any gaps or space in between now go ahead and place the two pentalope screws back into the pentalope screw holes near the charging port and secure them with the pentalope screwdriver now power up the phone again and you should be good to go Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com.